uzun bir aradan sonra yeniden merhaba. İngilizce konuşma ve dinleme odaklı olarak hazırladığım video serisinin devamı olan bu videoda bu sefer Soren ile yaptığım görüşmenin izlemediğiniz kısımlarını izleme ve listening becerilerinizi test etme fırsatı bulacaksınız. Hatırlarsanız bu serinin ilk videosunda yabancı ile konuşturan uygulamaları inceleyerek fiyat ve özellik yönünden birbirleriyle karşılaştırmıştım. İşte Soren ile de o videoyu hazırlarken tanışıp görüşmenin yalnızca sınırlı bir kısmına yer vermiştim. Bu videoyu da bir öncekinde olduğu gibi yalnızca İngilizce altyazı ile vereceğim ve gizlediğim bazı kelimeleri sizin bulmanızı isteyeceğim. Yani kendinizi 10 soruluk bir listening sınavındaymış gibi düşünebilirsiniz. Görüşmeye geçmeden önce bir önceki videonun cevaplarını açıklamak istiyorum. Ancak henüz o videoyu izlememiş olanlar olabileceği için spoiler vermemek adına cevapları bu videonun açıklamalar kısmına koyacağım. Her ne kadar videonun başında Soren'den biraz yavaş konuşmasını istemiş olsam da sonrasında gerek o gerekse ben biraz kendimizi kaptırmışız ve ortaya tatlı sert bir diyalog çıkmış. Hazırsanız görüşmeye geçebiliriz. Okay, very good. All right. So Uzar, let's just now that we've got that all the introduction out of the way, let's pretend yeah. that you just logged in, okay? Uh -huh. uh, hello Uzar. How well, are you I'm, today? Well, I'm really good, okay? And how about you? I am doing well as well. Tell me a little bit about what you do for a living, Uzar, or what is your job? Well, uh, I teach English at a high school. Uh, that is my job. I've been doing it for 14 years now. Uh, I'm 38 years old. Uh, I might look a bit younger than that. Uh, please tell me I look a bit younger than that. You do look younger than that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, and that's it. Very good. Very good. And Uzar, um, why do you want to learn English? Well, um, English is... Uh, I believe the common language of the world, you know, there are too many languages and one should be the common language for, for all the people and uh, English happens to be that one. So uh, it's the language of science, it's the language of, um, you know, we can say literature and to understand the articles and other scientific materials, uh, you need to have at least a basic level of English. That's what I believe, uh, right? Uh, okay, I talk too much, I know. I'm waiting for no, you. No, no, <laughs> no, that is good, that is good. And, and just so you understand, Uzar, as you talk, it's good because I listen for words that you may mispronounce. So far, you have not mispronounced any words. You're Seriously. doing great, you're well, doing great. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, Soren, I have never been to any country whose native language is English. I was just uh, born and raised in Turkey, okay? But I watched too many Hollywood films. <laughs> <laughs> that I think, Uzar, that is great. In fact, Thank as you. a teacher, I encourage my students to watch films, TV, listen mm -hmm. to programs like music. You know, um, I know may, it may be harder to get um, American music as far as uh, like radio shows, but if you can get British, that's the second best, it, depending on the yeah. accent you want. So that mm -hmm. I encourage my students to do that as a homework assignment fairly often because it is mm -hmm. a great way to learn English. Reading news, newspaper articles, online articles are also great ways yes. to learn English. So yeah. you're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. That's a thank good you. way to learn. Yes, thank you. Well, I believe that songs are even harder to understand compared <laughs> to movies <laughs> because some words are changed, you know, uh, just to go with the music. Mm -hmm. uh, so it becomes a bit harder for the beginners, for the beginners to understand. But movies are, you know, movies are a bit easier um, compared to daily conversations. Mm -hmm between yes. two Americans or two English people. Yes. And, and, and movies and TV have a lot of idioms, which is sometimes a little mm -hmm. harder for beginners because they, they like to go to Google search and it doesn't translate. And they're like, so I always tell my students to write those words down and then we can talk about them the next time we get together. 
and it helps well, them learn the idioms as well as new words. So uh, idioms are trouble, you know. Uh, another thing that is hard to learn for the beginners are phrasal verbs. You know, something yes. like uh, put through. You know, put means something, and through means something else. But when we combine them together, it becomes something else. Okay? Yes. To come over a difficulty, uh, something like that. Put through. Uh, go with go the flow. With the flow. Go with, yeah, the go with the flow. I know. I know. Yes, go with, go with the flow. flow. Let it go. Go with the flow. Yes. So like, you know, and phrasal verbs always, you think of like, you know, a pipe with water going through it. If everything's mm -hmm. going this way, just go with it. Go with the flow of the water. <laughs> yes, yes. It's been a new phrasal verb for my subscribers. Go with the flow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if plumbers came up with that, but we, we it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, there are not exact verbs for some actions, but mm -hmm. they are only met with phrasal verbs. Um, I can give you some examples, but I am a bit excited right now, so I cannot <laughs> think of any. I'm sorry. Well, I will go to my two rules for English. Number one, relax. Yeah. Okay. relax. You always sorry, have to I relax. Because I, when I'm, I'm learning a new language too, so I understand this and how it can be hard. Really? Because yes, I'm learning Spanish because I live part of the time in the United States, part of the time in Spain. So uh -huh. when I think too hard, when I don't, when I'm not relaxed, the words get trapped there, and I understand that. And you probably heard the, that phrase: "Practice makes perfect." Well, uh, I'm going to show you my book. Uh, I have a <laughs> book uh, uh, which contains translations from sentences uh, in Turkish to English, and and here it says. Let me read it for you. Translation makes perfect. Ah, I changed, very good. Yeah, I changed it a little bit. This is my book, by the way. Very good. Very good. I believe the best way to learn at least the grammar of a language is to make translation from your own language into the other language, into the target language. So that's why I uh, prepared this book in this fashion. That is good. That is that is how that is how I, I use that while I'm learning a new language. Well, so as well, so that's very good. Yeah. Thank you. And um, so, how often do you practice English with other people on a daily uh, or weekly basis? Well, not often actually, because there are not too many, uh, you know, expats or foreign people around me to talk in English. Uh, I'm just by myself. I don't have any chance to practice, but I'm a, I'm a good listener, you know. <laughs> I'm just watch movies and I listen. That's all I do. Well, Uzar, I would, I would, I will have to disagree with you. I bet you that there are many people in Turkey who speak English. They just aren't have not practiced. So, what yes. I would recommend doing is finding someone near you, around you who is also learning English or speaks English and practice with them on a daily basis. It's, I, I know the world is about making money, but it's a good free way to practice and learn when you're not practicing with somebody like myself, who, who's a native speaker. Yes, I totally agree with you on that. Yes. I'm a bit, you know, uh, shy person on that. <laughs> so I don't, do that uh, at all, but that's what should be done. I agree with you on that. Diyerek sohbeti bitirdik. Bir önceki videoda Alejandra ile yaptığım görüşme biraz basit kaçtığı için olsa gerek bolca onda on yapan olmuştu. Bu videodaki görüşme nispeten daha zor. O yüzden onda on yapan olup olmayacağını merak ediyorum. Cevaplarınızı yine yorumlar kısmına yazabilirsiniz. Doğru cevapları ise bu serinin bir sonraki videosunda gelecek. Ha bir de Soren ile kendiniz görüşmek isterseniz şu anda ekrana gelen ve açıklamalar kısmında da bulabileceğiniz profil linkini kullanabilirsiniz. Hoşçakalın.